All right, so we're live. We're good to go. Okay. What's up, guys? So I have a quick announcement. Well, not a quick announcement. I have a pretty big announcement, but you can kind of guess by the title, right? So I am officially decided to compete at the USAPL Raw Nationals 2016 in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I am super excited to get back on the platform. So I, I told you guys prior, a, a couple videos back, that I'm not sure if I wanted to compete. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get some of my strength back. And honestly, I just wanted to make sure I had enough strength to make competing fun. I don't want to go and compete and know I can do better and do a lot, lot more weight. And I, I, just, I just hate that mentally. I didn't want to compete uh, coming off of a bodybuilding show because when I came off the bodybuilding show, I was literally like, I felt like I was like 75% or 80%. And uh, luckily and surprisingly, my strength has come back like really, really fast. In fact, I feel like I'm almost... Well, no, on squats, some days I feel really, like, really, really stronger. Like, stronger than I did before starting my bodybuilding prep. But anyways, so I'm competing. I'm deciding to compete. I'm ready to compete. And I'm not going to sit here and say I'm at 100%. I feel like I have more strength to gain. But this is, like, the closest meet that's coming up pretty soon. I just, I just can't fight that itch. I, I just I can't fight the itch to compete. Like, I want to put my strength to the test. I want to see where I'm at against other people right now. And... Well, we we're going to see, so I'm currently five weeks out, and today marked the first day back on my powerlifting schedule. So I kind of want to lay out the format that I'm going with. So as I've said before, I'm doing my powerlifting days on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with Tuesday and Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday being full-on bodybuilding days. So I had my friend construct a peaking cycle for me, and basically a peaking cycle is kind of just like where you're tapering off your strength. It's not necessarily going to make you any stronger. You might, you might gain like 10 to, or, or 5 to 10 pounds on your maxes, but it's not meant to make you stronger if that makes any sense so like this peaking cycle isn't something that's going to make me stronger but it's going to kind of get my body used to lifting heavy weights and prepare my body to max out so today was the start of that so today we had heavy 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 squatting and when i say heavy like i was literally contemplating if i was even going to be able to do the numbers that he had set for me because i remember we were texting back and forth last night i'm like he's like okay you have 525 for three sets of five i'm like Psh, that's easy that's Psh. That's easy. That's nothing. I've been doing five. I've been doing 495 for sets of eight. <laughs> Four, tw uh, 525. Psh, that's easy. Walk in the park, right? I get on the bar. I looked at. I was like, bruh, this is gonna be a long ass day. So I did three sets of five. I was able to complete it, but it was like an RPE of about like 20, 20. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it was an RPE of like nine to ten, and it was super really difficult. But it's like I haven't lifted that much weight. Like I don't think I've put that much weight on my back since. Um, the last time I maxed out when that was at 605 pounds So coming off my bodybuilding show, that's the heaviest I've ever put That's the heaviest amount of weight I put on my back for squats And my body was shocked It's like, bro, what are you doing? It's like, this is really, really heavy, you gotta chill out But I'm happy to say that I was able to grind through each rep And successfully complete my three sets of five So after my three sets of five, I moved on to some stiff-legged deadlifts Or some Romanian deadlifts, whatever you want to call it um, RDLs and I did three sets of eight with 315 pounds, went smoothly, went great, had to squeeze my glutes, felt the hamstring activation and all that stuff. Then after that, we moved on to some close grip work with 275 pounds. We did another three sets of eight and everything felt solid. The bench actually felt really, really solid compared to my squats and my remaining deadlifts. And I'm just, it, it just felt really good. After that, we did some bodybuilding stuff. I didn't really film it just because I kind of want to focus on the bodybuilding, por uh, the powerlifting portion of this workout. And I'm just super excited to be back powerlifting, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like excited. I'm like, I can't even form the words like I'm talking so fast because I'm so excited. I'm just ready to compete against people. I understand there's going to be some top level powerlifters that are competing at this meet. And it's just fun to compete with people, man. It's fun to see where you're at. And I understand, look, look, it, I'm still not 100%, which is kind of annoying inside of my head. But it's like, I feel like I'm at, someone's car is going off. I hope, hopefully they stop it pretty soon. Conveniently messing up my video. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so it looks like the beeping stopped. But anyways, um, damn, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I just wanted to be able to get my strength back to make sure that I wouldn't go back and say, damn, I wish I was a little bit stronger, or I wish I was a lot stronger. I, I mean, of course, I'm gonna be looking back and be like, ah, man, I feel like I left a little bit on the on the platform. I feel like I I I could have been stronger. But the Raw Nationals is happening now. I can't. 
it's happening now. I can't wait to get any stronger because it has a set date. And I can't push it back. So I'm gonna have to compete at this one. The next powerlifting meet in this region is gonna be like a, a, it's gonna be a while until it happens. So this is like my only chance to kind of get my feet wet and then start building my strength back up. So I'm super excited to just compete with like the top powerlifters in the in America, and it's just gonna be really really fun, man. People are gonna be flying down everywhere from like Louisiana, um, probably like California, everywhere just to come down to Atlanta, Georgia to lift against each other. That means the competition is gonna be higher, and that means I'm gonna have to work harder in order to be able to compete and that's super fun that's what i love about it i'm just super excited to be back in the powerlifting kind of groove you know what i'm saying like i'm 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 doing a peaking cycle right now and it's like i'm squatting and i'm kind of smiling in between set like i'm i'm having fun in the gym i'm rapping you know when the music drops and all that stuff i'm just having fun and it feels super good because i know that I'm gonna do everything it takes to be the best version of myself, and that's that's what it comes down to, you guys. Whenever you love something, whenever uh, whenever you have a true passion for something, it never feels like you're working. It never feels like you're 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 having to drag yourself out of bed to get started. It just feels really good. So USAPL Raw Nationals 2016 in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm coming for you. We're currently five weeks out, October 13th through 16th. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm super excited. I'm just. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. So this is going to be the beginning of something really dope. It's going to be the beginning of a new series. I'm super excited to sh share my journey with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So this video is coming to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.